This is going to be an unboxing and a review of this uh, 4K dual dash cam here. So this is the Orbit uh, 956. It shoots in uh, 4K Ultra HD and there's a bunch of features and stuff it has. So it has 4K in the front and 1080p in the back. A, a Wi-Fi app, GPS, time-lapse recording. Um, and then flipping over to the back, it has a bunch of more stuff. Some of the things that sit on the front and um, motion detection, uh, WDR. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing of this uh, box here. So opening up the box here, the first thing I see is the uh, camera itself. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. It comes in this, uh, you know, plastic wrapping here. Just going to slide it out and here is um, what it looks like. So this looks like the adhesive part that you uh, stick to your windshield or um, anything like that. It has a pretty big lens. It's not that big. Uh, fits in the palm of my hand. Um, it's a touchscreen device, it has some uh, buttons on the side as well as like a SD card or a micro SD card insert. Uh, yeah, that's definitely the adhesive part to it. Let's go ahead and see what else is in the box here. So uh, taking this um, paper out, you can see uh, this is very nice. It comes with a uh, 32 gigabyte micro SD card. A lot of these products don't come with it, which is uh, nice to include, so you don't have to go out and buy one. And then this top part here is an SD card receiver, so you can plug this part into your computer, and so you can see all your footage and stuff, so that's nice to have. Uh, this looks like the uh, reverse camera. This looks like the reverse camera here. It has the uh, power cord, which runs up to the front, and it's a pretty long cord, so you can hide the wires in your headboard or under your floor or anything like that, so there's no exposed wiring. Uh, so yeah, that's the camera right there. You can see the little lens, and then that's the adhesive part. And then here's some more adhesive strips and some extra pieces. Uh, this looks like the uh, power cord itself. So this is a uh, cigarette lighter. So this part plugs into the uh, top, or the, uh, sorry, the side, or the bottom actually of the uh, camera here, and that's how it gets power. And then here's also a uh, USB to um, this uh, camera right here. I'm not sure what that port is called. These either look like stream protectors or installing uh, instructions, and then you got another, you got an extra uh, adhesive part for this camera in case you want to move it or anything like that, you got two. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the uh, setup of this uh, dash cam. So installing this dash cam is pretty self-explanatory. It has this little adhesive part here, and you just want to go ahead and peel that little blue piece off there. And then once the adhesive part is uh, on, you just want to figure out a place on your windshield where you, where you want to put it. And I'm just going to install it right about here so you guys can see it while I'm using it. So you just kind of go on ahead and press that adhesive part on there. And just like that, it is already on there. There's no suction cup or anything. You have to worry about it falling off. Uh, that's what it looks like. And it's definitely small enough to hide behind the mirror. But again, I'm just doing it right about here. I'm going to go ahead and set up the power. I have the uh, cigarette lighter running here, kind of under my uh, dash there. And I have the uh, cord coming out here. So this part, it plugs into the top right about here. I can't do it with one hand. So I'm going to go ahead and cut to it all installed. So just to show you guys, I went ahead and moved the uh, dash cam to behind the, uh, the mirror here. You really can't see it. It's not in your field of view or anything, but I uh, set up the rear view mirror and uh, that one just kind of plugs into the top there and it runs all the way to your back windshield. I have it running through the headliner there. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to the uh, dash cam view and show you guys the raw footage of how this thing looks. So this is the uh, raw footage of the uh, dash cam here. So you can see the picture is uh, very, very high quality. It has the uh, miles per hour and everything on the bottom as well as like coordinates and stuff. It also has a time and date and everything like that. Uh, so yeah, it's very, very clear. The setup was uh, very, very easy. The adhesive is very nice. So there's no like big suction cup sitting on your windshield. But yeah, I'm definitely very impressed with this. Um, this dash cam here. I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the uh, reverse camera view. Again, that that part was very easy to set up. It's not really um, complicated to use. But here is the reverse camera. This is just the same footage, but out of the back. So I'll let you guys uh, take a look at that. But uh, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed.